Well, it's happening in YouTube. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having an awesome day. Why? Because we've been talking about some Anubius plants today, that's why. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm okay, I promise. Uh, this is for the beginners. I've got an Anubius plant here. So, let me walk you through the scenario as a beginner, because I once was also. Uh, you in a pet store, you're walking around, you see some fish, you're like, oh, those look cool. And then you're like, man, I wonder how much your fish tank is. And you're looking at the fish tanks and you see like a fish tank kit. And you're like, oh man, 60 bucks, I can get a fish tank. It comes with a filter, comes with a heater, comes with a bag of fruity pebbles to put at the bottom. Uh, and a thermometer. I just gotta go home, put it together and fill it up with water. That's awesome. So you go home, you put it together, you fill it with water. And then a couple weeks later, you go back and get fish because that's what the person at the uh, PetSmart or Petco or wherever you got it told you. Let, let it run for a couple weeks and then come back and get some fish. And then you get some fish, you put them in there, and now you have some fish as, uh, as your pet. And, well, because you have fish as pet, you're at the uh, pet store, you know, uh, often to buy supplies for your fish, like food. And one day you're in there and you're walking around and... Uh, you notice some plants and you're like what aquarium plants aquarium plants that can just go in my aquarium and they just they're alive and they live in my tank awesome I don't know who this Anubii character is but you're coming home with me and then you you go home and you're super excited because you also realize it's a lot cheaper than buying plastic decorations and you open it up and you're like, oh, yeah, all right. Plant. Living live plant. Going in my tank. Man, can't wait till Steve sees this. And he's bragging about his castle that blows bubbles. I'm going to be like, oh, yeah? Do you have any Anubius Nana living in yours? Because I do. And then you open it up. You pull it out, you scrape off all of the fun little white thingamadiggies off of there, and you're like, well, here we go. It's a plant. And then I just shove it in the pebbles, and I sit back, and I'm like, I've done it. I am a master Aquarius. I have a plant living in my tank. And then you're like, every day you come home, and you're like, oh, man, that plant is just awesome. And then... A week goes by and you're like, oh, it's turning yellow. I guess maybe that's normal. And then a week after that, it starts turning black. And you're like, oh, what the heck's going on? And then a week after that, it's just completely dead and it's melted and it's disappeared. And you're like, what the hell happened? It's literally an aquarium plant that lives underwater. I don't even have to water it. It gets all the water at once. How did it die? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because many aquarium plants don't thrive the same way as a plant growing outside does. Uh, so Anubius is a very common plant that you will find at uh, any local fish store um, and PetSmart, Petco, 50% of their plants are going to be Anubius and Java ferns. Now we call these rhizome plants. Now what that means is, let me get my little tweezers. This right here, don't look at the roots. This right here that goes across where the leaves are coming off is the rhizome. It collects its nutrients from that, from that rhizome. Its roots don't act like roots like a regular plant. They, they don't go down into dirt or in the bottom of your tank and start sucking up nutrients. Their roots are like appendages, like fingers. They are meant to grab onto something. So out in the wild, you know, this plant would be growing and then a piece would break off and it would float and uh, get stuck to a rock and its roots would grip onto the rock. And that's what the roots are for, are to grip onto things. And it collects its nutrients from the water column through this rhizome. So what happens is if you plant it at the bottom of your tank in your pebbles, you know, uh, the roots will start to grab onto those pebbles and slowly pull itself down and down and down and down into the pebbles until the rhizome is completely buried. Now it can no longer grab nutrients from the water 
uh, and it suffocates and it dies on you. So hopefully you came across this video first, but if you're like me, you killed it, and then you're like, uh, and then you immediately YouTube a video, and you're like, man, I wish I had done that three weeks ago. Now I go buy another Anubius. So the way you get this to grow onto something, because obviously it's uh, roots that act like fingers don't move as quickly as ours. It can take weeks. You can use string. Some people use some types of glue. I, I don't want to use glue if I don't have to. I buy floral wire. You can get this anywhere, like a Walmart or you know, a Home Depot or whatever. It's called floral wire because it's meant for plants and, and it can go underwater. Um, cut a piece off. Then you're going to take it, take the wire, stick it through, and then just wrap the wire around, like in here, I'm going to be putting it on one of these logs. But uh, you can put it on, um, well, I had a rock. You can put it on uh, rocks, um, put it on, you, you want it elevated. Don't get it too close to the, uh, to the bottom of your tank because the roots will start going down into it to grab onto it. Put it up higher so the roots will start to grab around the object. So a rock or driftwood is perfect. Uh, if you you know if you probably already have plastic decor, you could stick it to that. But I I am completely opposed against plastic decor. And trust me, once you get this plant thing going, you'll never go back to plastic um, decorations ever again. And you know you you if you find your your knack for it and, and you you get it going. You, you won't be able to stop and before you know it, then you start learning about uh, substrates and aquarium soil and the list goes on and on. But these are perfect as a beginner plant because you don't, they don't get planted at the bottom. Like I said, you're a beginner. You've already bought, you bought a kit that came with everything. But then you bought a plant that can't be planted at the bottom of your tank, which is fine. All right. But there are uh, aquatic plants that, that do, that can get buried in your substrate. But that's something we'll talk about in another video. So, but while you have your fruity pebble uh, substrate bottom, you can buy as much of a Nubius as you want and just put them all over, you know, the middle of your tank and start eliminating your plastic decor and putting in driftwood and you just tie it on there and it does have to be fertilized. It will collect uh, some uh, nutrients from uh, the ammonia from the fish waste that then creates... Uh, something called nitrates that then float up in the water column and it'll feed off that too but it's gonna want a little bit of fertilizer and if you bought this um, you you're gonna you're gonna be starting off all at the same place so if you bought this at PetSmart you're gonna be going back to PetSmart so the fertilizer you should get it's called API leaf zone and it's loaded with iron and potassium these can do just fine off iron and potassium and they'll do okay off of your <clears throat> Excuse me. I promise I'm okay. And it'll do okay um, off of your hood lamp. Now, once you start exploring outside of rhizome plants, because these are low-light plants, you'll start realizing you'll need some of these high-tech lights, you know, for other plants. But for the time being, with your beginner tank and all of that, you can do a bunch of these, and they'll do just fine off of the off the lid light um, because they like low light anyway. And if you have a high tech light like this, you gotta dim it way down. So anyway, we haven't even gotten to there. All right, so very simple. I've got my floral wire and then I just take it, I've wrapped it around my piece of wood or whatever and just twist it, leave it there. A Couple weeks later, I can untie it, slip it off. By then the roots will have gripped on to the object and there it'll stay. All right, and then you just remember once every couple weeks uh, put in a little cap full of your API um, uh, fertilizer, and your Nubius will do great. So I hope you found this before you did what I did, and just grab your Nubii and shoved it in your pebbles, and you at least learned about this first, and then we'll go from there. Which, by the way, I do have lots of playlists, and I have every plant from PetSmart and Petco in there. Uh, so, but for you beginners, more than likely, one of the plants you're going to start off with is this. 
And uh, like I said before, look on the back and make sure it says aquatic with an A and not semi-aquatic. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Your fish will love you for the plants. You just need to treat the plants correctly or they'll die and then your fish will be sad. And then you'll be sad. And then you failed. And then you're just walking around I'm a failure. Can't even keep an underwater plant that gets all the water at once alive. Ugh. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all my new subscribers. And if you're having a bad day, you're feeling down in the dumps, get up and do something about it. And hey, it's okay. You may kill a couple plants. They're not all that expensive. You'll get a second shot. Then you'll find my video and you'll be like, ah. Shit. Uh, well, okay. And then you'll go out and cough up another six bucks on it. So, I forgive you. Catch you next time.